What in the World Juniors Russia versus Canada game was this? What the? What in the Hut Champions game with, was this? What in the NHL 23 was this? And on top of it, what was in the Jeff P3 was this? It doesn't even make sense anymore what I say. But did, did, that game didn't even make sense to begin with. So, uh, yeah, what the hell was that, bro? <laughs> what the hell? I said in my re preview today that I wasn't going to make the review of the Canadians lost. But, like, at this point, how am I going to, to be able to sleep if I don't get this emotion out of me man what the fuck was that and i'm sorry i know a lot of you guys ate it when i swear but like there's going to be swears in that video man um i can't find any any other words than fuck and what the heck and all of that so i'm really sorry if you're um below the age of 16 i suggest you not to watch this video this is my parental advisor uh, that kind of type of shit. So yeah, uh, the Canadians lose to the Vancouver Canucks seven to six. It's one fifteen a.m. I'm here sitting in front of my camera with my 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 only fans. <laughs> it's uh, it's not only fans, by the way. It's Oz Future. A lot of people say, "Why do you have a only fan?" It's kind of a meme now on the channel. Only fans hoodie. Uh, yeah, don't worry. I always have it on, but I make the laundry. Don't worry. It's always clean. It's always clean. Um, it's just my, my favorite pajama. So I, I wash it every day and I put it back on to watch games. So that's why I always have it on. Uh, so yeah, the Canadians lose seven to six in overtime to the Vancouver Canucks. And that was a rough game to watch again. At, at least the first period was fun to watch because the Canadians were dominating. At first they were getting dominated. But all of a sudden, Caulfield scores a goal. And then you're like, all right. Caulfield scores a goal, assisted by Nick Suzuki. All of a sudden, you're like, assisted by Jordan Harris, my bad. Uh, and all of a sudden, you're like, wait, all right. And then another one comes, another one. Suzuki scores a goal. Monaghan scores a goal. Michael Pizzetta scores a goal. And then you're like, all right, it's four to four, four nothing. And then you go back. And then you dominate the first half of the second period. And you're like, all right, the Canadians are going to win this. The Canadians are going to win this. And all of a sudden, Connor Garland scores. And then you're like, all right. And then another goal. And then another. And then another. And then another. And all of a sudden, it's 5-4 to four for the Canucks. And you're like, all right. They're losing that game. After the three goals, when I saw it with three, four to three, I was just, all right, they're going to lose that game. Samuel Montembeau starting to look like he's been losing his confidence. Um, the, the, the young defensemen were completely lost on the ice, and I can't blame them. They don't have the experience to go through a comeback like that. And judging by the circumstances, they didn't do bad either. Um... Yeah, bad turnovers by Montembeau. He's not Carey Price behind the net. Uh, he, he's not. He's not. He's just not it. He's just. He could. He needs to just stay in the net. Like every time he tries to do something behind the net, it turns out bad. And uh, not a bad game overall, but he he made some mistakes, of course. Um, and then bang, Christian Navorak scores a goal, and now it's five to five. And then a minutes after. Josh Henderson scores the, the most hockey ultimate team NHL 23 type of goal I've ever seen in my life. Deflected on everybody. I think even Marc Denis touched that puck. Ends up in the net. And then all of a sudden the Canadians are leading 6-5 to five with like a minute and a half left. And you're like, all right, they're winning this game. And all of a sudden, in the anime, what in the anime plot twist is happening? Bang. Kovacevic take a two, takes a two minutes. Power play Canucks. And then JT Miller ties the game with less than a minute left in the game. And it's now 6-6. Six to six. And then after that, you go to overtime. And Matheson transforms himself, himself into Jeff P3 with the 36th turnover in that game for Michael Matheson, who, in my opinion, was the worst defenseman on the team. And Michael Matheson hasn't been good since he came back. 
He's doing poor decision making, poor turnovers. He's been not good. He doesn't look like an NHL defenseman. He's he skates well. He skates well. Yes, he's good in transition. But what's the point of being good in transition if you're making turnovers every time you make a transition? He fails on the ice. Elias Patterson takes the puck. 12 seconds in the overtime. Canucks win the game 7-6 in overtime. What in the world was I watching, man? It looked like the Koruko's no basket game. It looked like a blue lock game. It looked like an Inazuma 11 type of game. Bro. It looked like an anime, a Japanese anime. Like I watched a lot of animes, sports animes, and it looked like that. Like it legit looked like that. And yeah, Matheson, terrible, bro, terrible. And then Sean Monahan. Sean Monahan, he's that guy who's been ruining the tank. As soon as he left the game because of his injury, everything started to go horribly wrong. So the key of wins is Sean Monahan. I think that we underestimate what he does for this team. He's just good in both sides. He's good on the top six, playing defensively, winning faceoffs, getting opportunities and offensively, getting points. Sean Monahan, after Suzuki and Caulfield, has been the best player in the Canadians. And I hope his injury is not too bad. Because if it is, it's going to be some rough games in the next couple of weeks. It's going to be some rough games. It's 100% his right foot. He's been walking with a boot for a couple of days now. And he looked uncomfortable at some point in the second period on his right foot. So it's 100% his right foot. I know. I hope it's not a fracture or something like that. Um, yeah, we need Sean Monahan on the team if we want to win games. So yeah, so on the on the overtime, Suzuki wins the faceoff. Caulfield moves to go get the puck, make the safest play ever for Matheson to turn it over like that. Nah, man. They should have started Gouley instead. They should have started Gouley. I think Gouley wouldn't have done that. He would have taken the, the, the right decision. And who knows? The Canadians might have won the game. And they gave all the highest time. They give all the highest time to Matheson, who's been playing terrible. Let's be honest. If it was Arbor Jackye making those turnovers, he would be in Laval right now. And God knows Arbor Jackye did not play a good game tonight. He, it wasn't his best game. Made a lot of turnovers. But he made some good plays as well. Matheson... Other than the pass he made on the on the Sean Monahan goal, didn't really have to do much. Just pass the puck to Suzuki, and Suzuki did everything. By the way, Suzuki is an absolute beast. Now at 28 points, 14 goals, 14 assists for um, number 14. Uh, Caulfield is now at 14 goals as well. And by the way, they are the first. They are the first uh, under 23 duo to score 14 goals, both 14 goals. In their first 25 games in the season. Even Connor McDavid and Leon Dreisaitl haven't done that. They're the first players to do that since Lindros with that other guy that I forgot his name in 1992. So it's been a long ass time since a young duo made that in the NHL. Just wanted to make a quick talk about this. So yeah, really, really bad decision making by um, Madison. Slavkovsky got hit into the head again. I feel like Slavkovsky is a targeted player. Like, I think that a lot of goons in this league are, are jealous when they see an 18-year-old coming in the NHL and having success. Like, they're like, oh, why am I not like that? Why was I like that? And they just tend to, like, when they see him come with his head low a little bit, they're just like, all right, kid, let me, let me show you what it is in the NHL. He could have just played the puck on that play. He could have just played the puck. The puck was right there. You lift the stick, you take the puck, and you continue to play. But instead, a guy that isn't doing anything offensively, who is poor defensively, and is just good to hit people and injured people, of course he's like, all right, an 18-year-old with his head down. Let me hit the fuck out of him to show him what it is in the NHL. You're not cool, bro. You're not cool. Just play the puck. It's the best play anyway. You're, you're, you're better off trying to take the puck than hitting the guy to the head. And for me, when you decide to take a hit to the head to an 18-year-old instead of playing the puck, you're a disgusting pe person. I'm sorry, but Jacob Truba and all of those guys, Shen, all the guys that are just playing to hit people, I think that they have no place anymore in the NHL. We're not in the 1980s. 
I yes, they're winning millions to play in the NHL, but it's still not worth getting fucking brain damages at 19 years old just because there's some people that are are too aggressive to to be calm and composed and just play the puck like a normal human being. Like, come on, man. Anyways, uh, yeah, that was pathetic. Like the comeback from the Canucks was insane. Uh, happy birthday to Hextech. I know it's his birthday, man, and <laughs> he probably shat himself when he saw it was for nothing for the Canadians. But congrats, Lego Rocks ninety nine. Probably hyped as fuck as well. Probably going to make a review as well. So if you want a uh, 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 the point of view of a Vancouver Canucks fan, I I suggest you to go watch uh, Lego Rocks ninety nine's video. Man, he's probably gonna make a review. So shout out to him. So yeah, it's been your boy Tropical Habs. Have a good night if you're watching this now. You're, you probably won't. You probably all go went to sleep anyway. So I'll see y'all tomorrow. Have a good day if you're watching this tomorrow morning. It's been your boy Tropical Habs. Shout out to all the Slovakians that are watching this with their coffee this morning. And I'll see y'all tomorrow for brand new videos. Enjoy the rest of your day and bye bye